Hey everyone, welcome back to my Flux tutorial for Unreal Engine 4 using the Flux plugin that I've made. Uh, in the last video, we set up our uh, little Flux world here uh, and we got them contained inside the level. But we had the issue where they kind of just smack into the wall and stuff immediately. Doesn't look very nice. So, let's start the video by first of all fixing that. So if we go back to our volume actor that we made before, the restriction one, uh, we have an option here called use fall off. If we check this, we get another little box inside of the bigger box. And what this represents is an area where once they leave this inner box, they'll want to start thinking about moving back towards this area. So. Once they leave, they'll kind of smoothly start transforming back to the center of the box. So we can press play right now. And you'll see that they kind of stay inside the center of the room. Once they hit the edge of that area, they kind of spin back nicely without just stopping and abruptly running into a wall. So we can use this and we can, <coughs> we'll cover up most of the area of our of our room, so I might set this to 1400 by 1400, yeah, cool. And you'll see that they'll get this little buffer space here in between these two boxes of where they're allowed to start thinking about moving back towards, and though they'll no longer kind of smack into that wall and just stop immediately, they'll get a little bit of smoothness as to where they turn around. Cool, so that, that fixes that problem, they look a lot nicer now, they're not making jarring movements. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to look at is goal and flea volumes. So say I have my f fish and uh, let's, let's say that they're piranhas in this scenario and I have my player running around and he jumps in with the piranhas and I want all the piranhas to flock him and kind of eat him up. You can actually do that using these flocks volume actors. You can place a new one in the scene. And we'll start with the goal volume. So what this is, is this is an area where once our fish enter this zone, they'll want to kind of move towards the center. Um, this can use all the same settings as the restriction volume. You can make a box, you can make fall off. Uh, with the fall off, you know, this is the area that they want to go into. And when they're on the outside, they'll start considering going in towards that area. Uh, I might just turn that off for now. And yeah, this is pretty much all that you need. So if I press play, my fish will now start moving towards that. Oh, it's a bit hard to see. Let me just eject. So you can see we've got some fish that have entered the zone over here and they're kind of being trapped in it. And we can actually even drag these in real time. And we can attach these to players and stuff. Um, and you'll see once the fish are in there, they kind of swim around and swarm this zone as much as they want. So that's goal volumes. Ah, oh, one, one thing that I didn't mention in the last video, sorry, is you can also do the same with these restriction volumes. You can drag them around in real time and have the flocks kind of move about the scene. Um, and you can change where they're limited to you know, as much as you want. Uh, so that's, that's goal volumes covered. Uh, next we'll cover flea volumes, and they're pretty much the exact same thing, except the complete opposite. So if I set this to flea, it will turn red, and this area, once they enter this, they will want to run away, and they'll want to get away from the center of this object. So I can hit play now, I'll just eject so that you can see it, and let me just click on this, and you can see here there's pretty much once they start entering this zone, they want to start leaving it. So I can put it over here and you'll see that they'll all just kind of react and run away as fast as they can. So we've actually got them stuck in the goal volume here, which is perfect for our test. So we can uh, bring this flea volume in and you'll see that they'll start to kind of leave that area. And, um, depending on their settings, so if we go back to go back to this flux world, um, we've got these settings here for goal and flea. Uh, for this tutorial I actually set goal down a little bit. Um, 
I can put that up to say 7 and I'll just eject again and find my volumes so you'll see that if I now move my flea volume over here it'll affect them less than it did before and they'll kind of still stay in the goal volume because they've got higher goal settings than flea settings So you can kind of see it, it, it changes depending on what values you set there. And yeah, that's essentially it for goal and flea volumes. You can attach these to players, you can attach them to you know, sharks if you want the fish to swim away from sharks, or you can really do whatever you want um, using these three volumes. You can get quite a bit of control. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can use material values to change each of these fish individually so as I showed in the first tutorial I had my my rainbow fish we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to create that effect using um, custom per instance data in materials and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one